been a tradition for 18 years now and this year is no different. The annual day of giving a day long effort to raise funds for a total of 50 local nonprofits. That's right. And one of them happens to be the Alice Food Pantry. It's been helping folks in need. They're in Alice for more than three decades and our Nora, Norma, Nora Perez spent some time there for us today. In operation since 1983, Alice Volunteer Services has made it their business to help those in need in their area. Frequently, we have grandparents that are coming in who have chosen to raise their, their grandchildren. And these are elderly people that are on a, a fixed income, and they, they need help desperately. Oh, yeah. The thrift shop Trash and Treasure is located in the city's downtown, and proceeds from the sales of those items go directly to their food pantry. Still, that only supplies about 30 percent of what is needed to help the community. The economy in Jim Wells County is not getting better. Food assistance is offered every 90 days, but thanks to Day of Giving, the center is now able to provide extra, greatly needed items. We're able to give uh, washing detergent, uh, bar soap, and uh, hygiene items, toilet paper, and that's real important. Uh, for these people but because they're expensive items. We're appreciative of Coastal Bend Day of Giving, but also our many volunteers. Nora Bettis, 3 News. And again, 50 nonprofits are looking for your help. The online fundraiser is November 12th. 3 News is teaming up with the Coastal Bend Community Foundation to hopefully raise more than $2 million. Let's go to our website to see how you can get involved. Coming up soon, November 12th.